The first example says find the fourth term in the binomial expansion of 3x plus 2y to the fifth power. Now, one way to do this, of course, this is not the best way, is to take this quantity and multiply it, have five groups and multiply it all together. But that's going to take a long time to foil all that out, combine like terms, and so on. So what we do is we use the binomial expansion theorem, which is binomial means two terms, and we expand it out using that binomial expansion theorem. Now, one thing we want to talk about or just quickly review is Pascal's triangle. So remember Pascal's triangle, each row starts with one and ends with one. And then to get the term below it, you just add the two terms above it. So that's how I'm getting this triangle here. But another way to do this is you look at the row, like this is row zero, row one, row two, row three, row four. Say like if we're looking at row four, each of these terms is four choose zero, four choose one, four choose two, all the way to four choose four. So notice how it always starts at whatever the row is, choose zero, and then it works its way up from there, okay? now. When you work with combinations, we use this formula here, ncr equals n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. So I'll give you an example. Like say if we wanted to expand out a plus b to the fourth power. Well, what we can do is we can say, well, we're on the fourth uh, row, so we're gonna do four choose zero. And then what you do is you take the first term, a, to the fourth power, and you take the second term, b, to the zeroth power. Now when you go to the next term, you're gonna do four choose one. This is gonna be a to the third power. See, I'm going down. But the second term is gonna be b to the first uh, power. Notice I'm going in ascending order or up. So if we continue on, you can see four choose two. Now we're gonna be at a squared, b squared. And I'll just carry that over here. Four choose three, a to the first, b to the third. And lastly, four choose four, a to the zero, and b to the fourth. Now, one thing I want you to notice real quick is that, see how this second number here, this r value, see this is zero, and this second term's power, see how that's zero? One, one, two, two, see the pattern? Also notice that when you add these exponents, four plus zero is equal to four. That's the power, that's the, that's the row that we're working with, right? So if we recognize that pattern, we can use that to zero in on a specific term. So for example here, see how it says find the fourth term? in the binomial expansion of 3x plus 2y to the fifth. Now follow how I'm gonna do this. This makes it a lot easier to do it in this way. So I'm gonna take 3x, that's the first term, 2y, that's the second term, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, the fourth term, now notice over here, like if I wanted to find the, let's just say I wanted to find the second term. This is the first term, this is the second term, but see how this is just four choose one? That's because we're starting at zero. So when I go over here to the fourth term, I'm actually gonna be at three, and this is the fifth row, so this is gonna be five choose three. Okay, so if I went down to this fifth row, the fourth term would actually be five choose three, because you're going zero, one, two, three, right? Now remember the pattern how I said that this R value and the second term's power, see how they always match? So if this is a three here, this is gonna be a three here, this is going to be a two, because three plus two adds up to five. That's the, the power, okay. So now all we have to do is simplify this down. So five choose three, I'm gonna be using this combination formula here. So this is five factorial over five minus three, which is two factorial times three factorial. And this is three squared, which is nine, x squared, two cubed is two times two times two, which is eight. And now if I simplify this, five factorial is what? It's five times four times three times two times one, all over two factorial, that's two times one times three factorial, that's three times two times one, but you can see those are canceling. This is 20 over two, which is 10. So I get 10 times nine times eight is 72, so I get 720 x squared y cubed. They want that particular term, they want that whole group. And so that's gonna be your answer there. Now we're gonna to go to the next example, but I know a lot of students right now are preparing for the ACT and the new SAT. So I just wanted to let you know about my two courses, my huge ACT math review video course and my huge SAT math review video course. We go through teaching, we go through formulas, we go through typical problems that you would see on those tests on the math section. We talk about how to recognize them and how to approach those problems. So go over there, check out the link, and there's three free lessons in both those courses. You can take those lessons, get a sense of uh, you know, how the course is laid out and if it's right for you. And you'll get benefit right, right from the start from taking those lessons. And if you wanna go further, you can purchase the course and 
you know, learn more about how to prepare for those two tests. But let's go ahead and jump back into this video talking about uh, finding a specific term in the binomial expansion of 4x minus y to the ninth power. We want the seventh term here. So, hmm, so what are we going to do? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 4x negative y. Okay, so those are our two terms. I want the seventh term and we're here on the ninth row. So this is gonna be nine choose six. Now you're probably saying, Mario, isn't, the seven, isn't it the seventh term, right? But remember how we start at zero. So that means zero through six. This is actually gonna be the seventh term. So one less. Remember this R value and the second term's power, those are always gonna match. And then these two powers are gonna add up to nine. So this must be a three. So that's a quick way to get that particular term that you're looking for. Just remember, it's the seventh term. It's actually going to be one less because you're starting at zero. So let's go ahead and simplify this now. So I'm using this combination formula. Nine choose six. This is actually nine factorial over nine minus six, three factorial times six factorial. Four cubed is four times four times four. And then this is a negative one to the sixth power, which is going to be negative one y to the six. Now notice this one was plus. I didn't really put a plus here. But when it's a minus, you can think of this as a negative a one. So that's why I did negative one to the sixth power, which is just gonna be uh, negative one to the sixth power like that. Okay, so I'm just distributing. So now if we simplify, what do we get? Well, we get nine factorial, which is nine times eight times seven times six, all the way down to one. Six factorial is six, five, four, three, two, one. You can see those are canceling. Uh, three factorial is three times two times one. Okay, and then here we have a negative one to an even power is positive one, so that's gonna be 64 x cubed y to the six. Things are shaping up here. Okay, let's see, we've got three goes into nine three times, two goes into eight four times. So now we have 12 times seven, which is 84 uh, times 64, right? So what's 84 times 64? That's 5,376, 5,376 x cubed y to the sixth, and now you can see we've zeroed in on that seventh term. So I hope that helps you to understand how to work with the binomial expansion theorem better. I'll link to some other videos I did talking about the binomial expansion uh, theorem a little bit more if you want to get some more practice. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future math videos. I'll talk to you soon.